We will now look at the second to last section within expert mode of FlashPrint, Advanced. The first feature is Bridge. A bridge is an unsupported aspect of a 3D model, basically printing in thin air. Enabling this option allows FlashPrint to optimize the print path to provide the highest possible quality of unsupported spans. Bridge area threshold sets the minimum area size of the above function. Below this threshold, the bridge optimization won't apply. And lastly, we can set our bridge speed as a percentage of our base print speed. Extrusion ratio is the next feature, which provides two percentages we can adjust. Our extrusion ratio, which affects the entire print, or just our first layer extrusion. This setting will affect all extrusion movements for these options selected. Path is a useful feature if there isn't a pre-made nozzle profile available for your printer or filament selection. The default selection for path width here is 0.4mm, which is a common nozzle size for many 3D printers. This can be adjusted to match the nozzle in use if you go larger or smaller. Path precision is the last setting for path. The higher this setting is, the lower the overall resolution of the path coordinates. However, Path precision is increased. Ironing, when selected, can provide a smooth finish by printing over the top layer a final time, with less material being printed at a higher pressure to help fill in gaps in the surface area with new filament and melting the top layer slightly to smooth it out. Finally, we can enable fuzzy skin, which is exactly what it sounds like. The outer walls of our model is given a fuzzy textured finish with this setting enabled. Below that, we can select if it will only apply to the outside of our model, and below that, we can adjust the skin thickness and point distance. The point distance is the space between the random points used to generate the fuzzy skin, and the selected measurement must be at least twice that of the skin thickness.